Hey guys, welcome to my Kraken Exchange smartphone app tutorial. So this one is how to use the Kraken app. I'm gonna go through and sign up and sign in, and then go through all the security settings that you need. We'll go through and look at the fees and the deposit methods and all of the features of buying cryptocurrencies on the Kraken app. If you are looking for how to use the Kraken Pro application and the Kraken desktop application, that is a different video as well. You can check out the Kraken playlist on the channel. I'll put all the video timestamps in the description, plus those other Kraken tutorials there for you, and also the link to sign up for Kraken so you know you're going through to the right place. As we open up the Kraken app then, we'll just wait for it to load. And the homepage that you come to really just outlines some of the biggest movers for the day and also the biggest cryptocurrencies that you might wanna trade. It's very straightforward. We'll come through and just click on create account though and get straight to it. You'll need your email, username, password, and contact info, including some ID documents, either a passport, a driving license, or a national ID card. You can get started with that process and you can see it just takes you through step by step. I already have an account, so don't need to, but just have those things ready and then it will take you through to the verification page. It does look like this. They'll send you an email with a password. Just put that in there, activate your account, and then you will come through to the next page, which is this one once you have your account and are waiting to get verified. The starter verification doesn't require any ID documents, but you can't buy cryptocurrencies with fiat currencies like US dollar or pounds. You need to go to the intermediate level, give them your ID, and then you can start to transfer some fiat currencies into your account and go and buy some other cryptos like Bitcoin. If you wanna get verified using the web application, it is a little bit easier to see things and see everything you need, but you can do it on the app. But once you are verified, this will be the homepage for you. As you can see, it is really simple. It just gives you the leaders in terms of the top gaining token, the biggest dipper, the market cap, obviously that's Bitcoin is the largest, and then the most traded, which is the US dollar tether. Then you can see some cryptocurrencies listed by market cap here. And you can go in very easily, tap one and see all the details. But let's first just come over to the settings of the mobile app. So we'll press this one. You can hide announcements if you want so that you won't get any notifications. You can turn that on and off as you like. The currency that all the cryptocurrencies are valued in, you can change this as well. Just change that to US dollar or pound sterling so that it will give you an idea of what each cryptocurrency is worth in relation to all of these fiat currencies and there are some on account. I'm just gonna change it back to sterling. Then the theme, you can have a day theme, so it's a light version or a night mode, or just click it onto automatic. So whatever you choose on your iPhone or other smartphone, it will just go along with that. Coming down to the account options, the account details you can see here, I'm not going to click into them because it's just your personal account details. It will just show you uh, your ID account number and everything that you need there. Two-factor authentication, you can come and click on this. Now, I would recommend the Authenticator app from Google. You can go into the App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Google Authenticator app and it will just increase the security when you are logging in. It is very easy to use it and it just links in very easily. Or you you can press security key right here. This is what's called a UB key security key. You have to pay, it's a small bit of hardware that essentially just comes up with a random number and then you can use that to log in. Devices right down here, I'm gonna click and blur out. This is all of the devices that you have and log in to Kraken with. So if there are any devices on this list that you don't recognize and they are not yours, obviously that is an issue and you should go through and maybe disable your account and make sure you change all of your passwords. So you can very easily see that here, which I think is a good security feature. Let's get into some trading then. You can see if you just come to the homepage, how easy it is to go through and click on a cryptocurrency and then go in and buy. Before we get into that, let's just quickly go over the trading fees that Kraken will charge you. Firstly, there is absolutely no fee for holding an account balance. So if you transfer some fiat currency like US dollars or pounds in there, there is no fee for having that balance. The way that Kraken make their money is through the spread on trading cryptocurrencies. So the price that you will get on the app, as you can see, is actually a little bit above the price that they pay. So they're basically paying an amount and then charging you a tiny bit on top. Now this is normal in the industry, should be below 1%, so it's quite low cost. Credit card fees are higher though, around three and a half or more percent, plus 25 cents per transaction. So yeah, definitely high and credit cards are the most expensive way to buy Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. So I'd recommend just transferring some cash onto your account via a bank transfer. 
Let's go and buy some crypto then. So we'll just come to Bitcoin to make it easy. Now the trading page right here, you can see some very good information. This is the 24 hour chart. Now this is the price in pound sterling. So this is Bitcoin versus pound sterling. So right now, one Bitcoin around 27 and a half thousand pound sterling. You can also change the chart to a one week, a one month, or for all of time just to see what the differences are and then right down here you can see the high and the low for the time period that you've chosen so in the last year the high has been 31,000 and the low has been 3,199 so a pretty big difference if you just change that to 24 hours though you can see the high and the low for the last 24 hours the symbol of the cryptocurrency BTC that they name it on Kraken. Then the rank for the market cap. So this is the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. So it's ranked number one. The market cap of the cryptocurrency. So how big the value of all of the coins are. And then the volume in the last 24 hours. So in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has actually traded 13 billion pounds worth of volume. You can now scroll down and actually find some more information about these cryptocurrencies specifically. So any blog posts that Kraken have, any news or updates, that will all be down there. And then as you scroll down, it's a very easy buy button. So maybe you want to buy 20 or 50 pounds worth. You can just click those buttons or you can come through to the buy Bitcoin button here. This is actually the same as choosing the three dot menu right here. So we're now through to the buy page. How Kraken do it, and it's similar to other apps as well, is to give you a fiat currency amount that you want to buy. So this is in pounds for me. You can have it in dollars, but I'm just going to put 100 here. What this is doing is telling me that I'm going to spend 100 pounds and below you can see how many Bitcoin you get. So 0 0.0036. You can also swap this around though. So you can press this icon right here. Now we're trading in Bitcoin and the spend in pounds is below. So I can actually just delete this right here and then just put 005 like this. And you can see that you can actually choose how many Bitcoin you want to purchase. And then it will tell you in your fiat currency how much you have to spend to get that much. We can then go through and select a payment method for this purchase. So we can click on pay with, then it will give us two options, either a credit card or a bank transfer. Let's click on add credit card or debit card first. So if you click on this, it will go through to the information that you gave when you signed up. So that obviously has to be the same as your card. Like I said, though, using credit cards is without a doubt the most expensive way of buying cryptocurrencies, no matter what platform you're using. So I'm just going to click X out of here and then confirm to stop adding this card. Just going to go back out to the main menu. So I'm just going to drag this down. Then we can come up and there should be a fund account option you can see here. So I'm just going to click on fund. You can see the same options come up. We can then add a card just like you've seen, or you can go to transfer right here. So if I click on this, you can deposit a range of different fiat currencies, starting with the dollar, euro, Canadian dollar, pound. I'm just going to click uh, US dollar for now to show you. A swift transfer is actually no fee. If you use Signature Bank, it's a $1 minimum. So it's just a few dollars to actually put transfers into the account if you are using dollars. If I come back to pound sterling, you can see the options here. It's actually more expensive, but if you do use a BAX, there is no fee fee but you do have to deposit at least one pound in there so for most options and most fiat currencies there are options that you can transfer cash in for free and there are other options that cost a little bit of money so i would obviously go and choose the free options if they are available to your currency we're now going to go to the icon on the right hand side and this is really your quick action button so let's click on this option they all come up here. You can buy cryptocurrency with cash, which we've gone through. Sell cryptocurrency for cash, which is exactly the same option screen as the buy screen. You'll just choose how much of the cryptocurrency that you want to sell, and it will tell you how much the value is in your fiat currency. We've already gone through the deposit option for cash, but in the future, this specific app will allow you to deposit cryptocurrencies as well. As for right now, it is not supported. If we come out of deposit now and then click on the fast icon, you can also come and manage payment methods down here. If you need to add a card or a bank or remove them as well, you can do that through this option. If you want to exchange one cryptocurrency for another, so maybe you have Bitcoin and you actually want to exchange that for some Ethereum. So you want to sell Bitcoin to buy Ethereum. You have to go to the Kraken Pro app to do that. This particular app is really for beginners and people that want to use US dollars or pounds to actually buy cryptocurrencies. 
There are many, many more options and more advanced trading features in the Kraken Pro app. So I would suggest that you watch that video. You can check the video description for that video and the Kraken playlist on my channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for way more crypto content and I'll see you in the next one.